Hey guys, welcome to Greenshine Farmers. Today, beautiful day here in Marshall, North Carolina, and we're going to talk about how to test your soil. Welcome to Greenshine Farmers video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. How to test your soil. Hey guys, I'm here today with Elizabeth Ayers of the Madison County Extension Office. And uh, Elizabeth, do you just want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm Elizabeth Ayers. I'm the Small Farms Local Foods uh, agent for Madison County, like you were saying. So I work for NC State University as well as NC a t State University, both land-grant colleges. Um, and that's, of course, how we get our funding. So I work with the Extension Office that's in Marshall, North Carolina. We have sled loads of resources, everything from canning and preserving, mm -hmm. to farming, to 4-H youth development, kids programs, camps, um, to how to grow food. Yeah, so let's test some soil. <laughs> so you're just gonna take soil samples from multiple places of these two rows? and then mix them together and then take enough from that mixture to yep. put into, cool. That's the plan. <laughs> and you wanna get, if you can, six to eight inches deep, if okay. at all possible. Yeah. That's where these probes come in handy. Yes. Yeah, cause they have the right measurement on them. That's right, they have the right marker on them. If you can. Yeah. Soil's real wet. Especially that far down on ours. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All that ryegrass roots are holding all the moisture. So you want to take 10 to 20 random samples per soil box. So why test your soil? Well, for one, it can save you time and money. By testing your soil, you're gonna get an exact idea of, of what you're working with. It's gonna show you the macronutrients like you know your nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus. It's also gonna show you the micronutrients. So that's things like boron, uh, manganese, copper, things of that nature. It's also gonna give you your pH. If your pH is off, if it's too low or if it's too high, uh, certain vegetables or fruits will not be able to absorb the essential nutrients so your soil could be loaded with all types of good nutrients but if your pH is off it doesn't matter because the plants won't be able to absorb it it's also going to show you your cation exchange capacity which is basically your soils ability to hold on to those essential nutrients so you know this gives you an exact idea of what you're working with and that way you know how much lime to add you know how much fertilizer to add you know that if you need any sort of trace minerals there you go. So it definitely pays to, you know, to just do a soil test so you have an exact idea of what you're working with. So when you reach down to grab your sample, based on the tilth of your soil, mm -hmm. you'll note we went down to about here when the soil probe, but we actually pulled up this much soil, which shows that the tilth of your soil is very fluffy, mm. very light. You're going to have um, airflow, you're going to have water flow through that soil versus a clay soil. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah, so you want to get really down there uh, so you're not just testing your compost. <laughs> That's right. It's important to get those six to eight inches. Yeah. So we recommend um, soil sampling every three years. You don't have to test every year, um, but every three years, three to four years, just to be able to keep up with the nutrients and things that you're doing within your soil to make sure that your pH is spot on and your nutrients are where they should be. Uh -huh. yeah. So November through um, the end of March, there's a $4 fee per sample to have your soil samples analyzed, plus your shipping. And then um, April 1st to November, it's actually free. So that's to space samples out so that in Raleigh, you can actually have a quicker turnaround time of 
maybe even seven to ten days mm. versus it used to be six to eight weeks. Yeah, I've waited, so. I've waited like three or four months before. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> so that's why they did that. Nice. Cool. Yeah. We're one of the last states to actually still have a free soil sample. Oh, yeah? In the U.S. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yep. Move out cool. to North Carolina and become a North farmer. Carolina. So once you got your sample, you know, just mix it up in your bucket, break it up, try to get out any grass or anything like that. Then you're going to have a little box like this and uh, you're going to want to put your sample ID so it's not a bad idea to just have a sort of like a, a map or just a, a list of each of your beds uh, numbered so you have a way of when you get the result uh, of matching it and correlating it to which bed in the field and then you know they're just going to have a basic sheet like this where you can put your sample ID any lime that's been applied um, the first crop that you plan to put in the second crop and then on the back you've got a code so if you were going to plant beets, you've got 074, you could put that here and they can give you specific recommendations. Okay. So you want to make sure that before you put your sample actually in your box, that you mix it up really well. Um, the greater it's mixed up, the better your sample is going to be. Because out of an acre plot, I've been on fields before that I've done 20 acre samples, mixed it all into the box, and what they're going to pull out is probably something like that. So you want to make sure that you've got a well-mixed soil sample before it ever goes in the box. So there you have it. That is how to test your soil. I want to thank Elizabeth Ayers for coming out and taking the time to help us test our soil. I also want to just mention that if you don't have a soil probe, you can also just use a garden trowel. Just be sure to get try to get six to eight inches deep and get a decent amount of samples so you get an accurate reading. Uh, lastly, I'd want to encourage everybody to reach out to their local extension office. You know, you can just do a Google search with your county, your state, and your extension office. Um, we're really spoiled here in Madison County. We have an awesome extension office. I mean, everything from identifying weeds and pests to obviously soil testing to just good deals on, on berry plants and, and things of that nature. So I'd really encourage everybody to reach out to their local extension agent and uh, see what they have to offer. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.